Hey guys, welcome back for more Skyward Sword. Uh, before we start, I actually have to show off something. Because af after I ended the last part, I went out to find the save point. When I exited the room, I forgot about the conversation that happened. Which I didn't get to record. Is That guy fledged that gave us the adventure pouch. Which gives us access to this menu here. Which allows us to store four items, which includes bottles and shields, for example. And several other items we'll find throughout the game. Uh, we can only store four items for now, but to be honest, we don't need a lot more than that. So, uh, first thing we're gonna do now is get us a shield. Just talk to this guy. I heard the news, right? Solo's falling down through the clouds. You're going to look for her, is that right? Headmaster told me there's land beneath the clouds. Do you know anything about that? So that's the famous sword. Ah, yeah. it won't do you much good if you don't have a shield to protect yourself with. Here, take this with you. And we get a free shield! We get a wooden shield. The light wooden shield breaks easily and can burn. So be careful. You got the shield. To use the shield, you use the nunchuck. If you do, if you thrust the nunchuck forward, you do this little blocking move here, which is extremely useful throughout the game. Other than that, just do this once, and you get it to a defense stance. Yeah, nunchuck for the shield, and the remote for the sword. Easy as that. What do you want, Fi? This is the menu here, gear menu. But what I'm really going in for is this. Finally, I can set this to pro, as I've been waiting for. Yeah, that means you don't have to see that freaking Wii remote on the screen. Because, to be honest, that's only nice to have if it's your first time playing the game. But me, I will replay to this twice and know all the controls already, so I really don't need it. So this is the bazaar. Yeah, this is quite a nice place. There will be quite a few stuff to do here later, just not as much now. But this guy you can talk to, but it's not really much to do. He will upgrade your gear, but you need like, tons of regens. <sighs> I want to explain this, but okay, this is a special chest. You need to find several items later on in the game to open it. I'll talk more about that when I find one of those items. This is the item check girl. We'll be doing a lot with her later. This is the guy that sells shields, bombs, and several other items. But we won't bother with him for now. The only thing we're actually worth doing right now is talking to this chick. Hey, you there! Yes, you! The adorable boy with the golden hair! Welcome to the potion shop! You can drink a potion when we're injured to fill up your hearts. Hey! You! You're one of the knights, aren't you? Or one in training, at least. <laughs> Let me tell you. I'll look at you, I can tell you need my potion by the cauldron full. Oh dear. Do you have an empty bottle on you? I can sell you a potion if you don't have an empty bottle to pour it into. For some reason, I like you. So I'll give you a spare empty bottle. I've been keeping it here in stall. Oh, it's nothing. It's my little gift. You won't hear me say this often, but you can put other things beside potions instead. Empty bottles. So, useful thing to carry around. And we got the first bottle in the game. And trust me, mm. bottles can be extremely useful. Yeah. Mm. So use the same menu to access bottles as you use the shield. So use this to get it out, and... And you 
Oh, right. You can't. That's the Twilight Princess. I forgot. So, yeah. Let's put that away. And examine. Let's light a heart potion. Drink this there, and it will print eight hearts. Yeah, we'll grab some. Why not? Get a heart potion! Extremely useful. <laughs> the right moments. Yeah, you can talk to this guy to boost up the effects, but you can't actually do that yet because you need bugs to do it. And you can't even collect those yet, so. We'll look at that later. Alright! And what am I doing here? This is the wrong side of town. Yeah. I think we're actually. Good enough to go for that light, huh? I don't think there's anything else to do here until later, so yeah. Oh, hold on. What is this guy? Want? Hey, look up there! It's Pizza's airship! He sells bug nets there! I want one so bad! There is a bell hanging down from the shop! I hear if you ring it, Pizza will stop and pick you up! But the bell is up! Up off the ground, you have to launch something at it to have uh, any hope of ringing it. What the hell <laughs> kind of accent was, it, was that? But yeah, that's Bill's airship up there. Uh, I'm sorry if I offended anyone with that, I really am. So, anyways, let's head up towards the light. You know, most people say don't walk into light, but. In this game, you have to walk into the light. You can explore here if you want, but there really is much to do right now. I think there's a mini game you can do, but it's really not important to get 100%, so I've never done it before. It's like a one island with a building on it you can walk into. Yeah, this is the map. Sky. Yeah, this is the portal right here, this is Skyloft. There's various islands you can go to. This one we'll be doing a lot with later. And this is something else. That will be way later in the game. Won't even get into it now. You just have to wait and see. Yeah, so pretty much what you have to do to actually get through this. You don't have to fly down to anything, just fly above it and die. And we'll do this graceful dive here. Below the clouds. Dun dun dun. Yeah, don't forget to use your cell cloth. <laughs> Alright, also the scent might hurt. No, really? The surface, huh? Interesting. I, calc I swear this grows like a freaking map. Nerd or something. This is seal grounds, which will be coming a lot to, and I mean a lot. But it's also quite a cool place, really. If you look at the how it's spelled up, it's like a circular. It's like circular and going down. Which is quite, quite cool, really. Uh, there's a bird statue here, but you can't actually use it right yet. And here you got some known enemies. Everyone remember these? These are the Deku Babas from previous games. But in this game, they are a bit different. Yes, you actually have to, if you look at their mouth, they have different patterns. You have to actually attack them, depending on how the mouth the mouth of them is. Which is actually quite cool, and the first time, first time playing through this game, I actually died through these first enemies here. Oh, sh what do you want? Yeah, 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 this is pretty much, she's pretty much expanding, like, you could do, like, Navi. You do with Navi in the first game, you do this. Target low. 
Tech Baba. Yara yara yara. Yes, she'll pretty much tell you what enemy, how enemies are like, and I just got myself hit like a dumbass. Okay. So yeah. And we get another cutscene. What's going on? Whoa, what's that? What the heck? What's that? Oh shit, not him again. Go away! Hey, what the hell? Stop hitting me in the forehead, man. Stop hitting me in the fucking forehead. Better stay away, man. I got a sword. What the hell is that thing? Weird. Link, are you sure you haven't been smoking something green? You know? Because we all know you love green. Just look at your clothes. <laughs> Sorry. That was a dumb joke. Alright, now I can explore this area. But yeah, there's pretty much not much to do here either, in terms of exploration. There's some hard flowers around, some of those stamina fruits, but overall, it's pretty much only go all the way down. The quickest way is just jumping down. Hmm, this is interesting. Young one, child of destiny, descended from the sky. Uh, what? Talking to me? Raise the sword of the goddess, skyward. Take aim at the evil aura and unleash its power. Who are you? Oh well, that's a Yeah, you wanna do a skyward strike. Should stop the evil part from pulsing and activate this! Which is nothing more than a shortcut backup. An extremely cool one, though. No, really? Yeah, if you haven't noticed already, Fi is extremely good at pointing out the obvious. <laughs> Dowsing, huh? Nah, I don't need to explain. I can do that. Yeah, this is something new here. Yeah. This is something new. Just get you hold down C, you get this menu here. And there's you're gonna have several targets. Uh, this is just really normal looking around camera, but this, if you target this, you can search for Zelda's energy. Uh let's see if, Where is it? Yeah, if if you get close, you see this little arrow thing pointing here. Which will pretty much show you the direction to go. So it's gonna be pretty much very used. You're gonna be using this ability a lot in the game. But it's really not too bad, and it's a lot more helpful than actually running around for hours and hours trying to find whatever you're looking for, like previous Zelda games. Although, I did like that too. Can we go in here now? I guess that's yes. Open! Opening the door all epically. Yep. Where are we now? 
some kind of temple. A seal temple. Huh. There is actually the... This bird statue is actually quite special. It's the only exception to the start of the game rule that no bird statues on the ground are working until a certain point. This is the only one that's working before that certain point. So if you want to save, you can do it now. I'm not going to, but... There's a door over here. Locked. Ah, Reagan. Good, very good. The sensor will regain control of the sacred power that fills the sword with pointed skyward. The skyward strike it is at your command. It's proof that you're fit to bear the blade you carry, the goddess sword. I've sat there for many years waiting for you to arrive, all so that I can fulfill my purpose as your guide. Set out for far and woods to discover the destiny for herself. You must follow. Show me your map. The X upon your map marks that will lead you to the far and woods. You're traveling on familiar land. Many monsters have settled here. The map may not prove guidance enough for your journey, so I'll give you the pow power to create beacons. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's pretty much. Beacons are pretty much like a waypoint. You can place anywhere on your map and it will light up in the sky. Place them with the C button or remove with the C button. I'll just leave it here for now. Though you cannot see it from where we are, the beacon stands outside to guide you. Leave the temple to the front doors and see for yourself. If you no longer have use for a beacon, you can remove it, blah blah blah. Use your beacon well. Go now, you must head into far and woods chase out the spirit maiden, the one you call Zelda. On your way out, take the contents of the trash chest. Thank you. I wish you safe, um, sitting around, I guess. But yeah, the trash chest you were talking about is over here. Get the revitalizing potions, but we also get another battle. That's the second battle in the game. First two are extremely easy to get. Let's see where this takes us. There's our beacon. In case you want to know what it looks like. If you want to know where to go, you can use the dousing ability. I'm not going to because I know where to go. Uh, in this woods, so. Oh. Out of way! Scram! Leave that Goron alone, man. Yeah, the enemies, these enemies are extremely annoying right now. Because they have a tendency to block. Uh, 
if you didn't get into a combo attack. That's extremely nice. Like that. Oh! If you see these drop, pick them up right away. They are extremely rare to get, and you want to pick want a lot of them for later in the game. Pick up the rupee! Alright. Wow, thanks for jumping in and rescue me, bud! Just who were those red pests? I did not expect to run into a pack of them in, peace, in this peaceful por forest. Same goes for you! Second time I bumped into one of your kind today. I tell you, all sorts of weird things are going on lately. Oh, you're big for taking care of those guys, so let me tell you something fascinating. That's a bird statue. Hey bud, I'm Gorko the Goron, researching the ancient history of the woods here. According to the ancient text, there's some kind of place up above called the Iowa Goddess far up in the sky. Apparently these old statues serve as a landmark to those traveling up to the sky or down from the Isle of the Goddess place. If you find one, be sure to examine it. Keep tabs on the number of land landmarks. They're rumored to be quite useful. Supposedly, this statue is special, as it's said to have the ability to activate all the other statues. So, keep that in mind. Actually, you don't have to keep that in mind, as you'll see right now. The whole thing sounds a bit crazy. I know, but for, I, I for one believe it to be true. Otherwise, why would all the statues be all be here all over the place? It's a real head scratcher, but makes me makes you want to know more, doesn't it? Hell yeah! Ah, sounds like I have a fellow country. Conancier? Conancier. I got no idea what that word is. <laughs> of ancient cultures here. Alright, bud. You, have a better... you had better brace yourself because I'm about to blow your mind. <laughs> so get this. People actually live on this sky island and they get around flying on backs of huge, bur huge birds. They're way bigger than the birds down here. Up there, everything reverses to guide us. And the residents of all the little island in the sky live in perfect society, totally free of conflict and unhappiness. So only that, no matter can tell, their civilization is way, way more advanced than ours down here. But that's not even stopped there, bud. The Isle of Goddess has even more stuff to marvel by. The place was crafted by the goddess herself, so it figures that it's filled with wonders that we do not have here. The buildings are all made of gold, an endless spring of mystical water. Feeds a river throughout the place. One sip of that stuff and you'll live forever. Trees are heavy with plum fruit that cures all disease. The fields are crowded with pumpkins that never rot. Magic wildflowers bloom everywhere. And the weather! Oh, the weather, bud! Not too hot, not too cold, no chance of sweaty weather in this garden paradise. That is the Isle of the Goddess. Amazing, right? Wrong, it's beyond amazing! You wanna hear more about it, don't you, bud? Good air, bud! I'm clearly obsessed with this place, I cannot get enough of it. I wish I had more to tell you now. I will need to research these statues to f learn more. Next time I bump into you, I will give you the latest info. Now we walk up to the statue, and... Holy snap! The statue activates. What in the world just happened? Did you use some kind of magic? The statue reacted the moment you got near it, bud. How crazy is that? Yeah, so now you can use this to save. Or even if you want, you can go back to the sky. Explore Skyloft and all that shit. But yeah. This is. You have anything more to say? Nope. This is a good place to cut off here. Next time. Hey, Rupee. Oh! Actually, one thing I'm gonna do before I cut off. Yeah, if you walk up here. There is a shortcut you can create. So now you can get quickly back into the forest from this area, so you don't have to go through the temple. Yeah, so that's it for today. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.